Hello everyone, I'm Jie Xu from City University of Hong Kong. Today, I'm going to introduce our work, Arcam, a secure and adaptive scanning scheme for permissionless blockchain. Blockchain is a chain structure composed of a series of blocks. Each block contains the hash of the previous block. The node that solves the proof of work puzzle can generate a new block. Each node stores a blockchain replication and keep updating it. An ideal permissionless blockchain has good uh, decentralization, scalability, and security. For decentralization, there is no authoritative node in the permissionless blockchain. Any node can join or exit arbitrarily. For scalability, with a large number of nodes participating, blockchain can achieve high throughput and faster transaction confirmation. For security, blockchain must guarantee safety and liveliness. But in fact, the performance of the permissionless blockchain is not satisfactory. For example, the throughput is far from meeting users' demand and the confirmation latency is too long. Even if there are some solutions that use parallel chains or DAG structure to improve the throughput of the blockchain, they are not flexible enough. They can scale up the throughput, but they are difficult to scale down. They ignore the actual transaction demand which incurs unnecessary communication and storage cost. So, we propose Alcam, a secure and adaptive scanning scheme for permissionless blockchain. But there are three main challenges. First, we need an appropriate structure. Second, those scale up and down transaction throughputs while achieving consensus. Third, we must guarantee the security of the blockchain. First, OCAM is based on a DAG structure that can expand or shrink exponentially. For example, in this picture, it can expand from 1 to 2 to 4 to 8, or it can gradually shrink from 8 to 1. Second, a global threshold for dynamic scanning is proposed based on the state of the previous block that reached consensus. Since the number of transactions cons contained in the previous block indicates the transaction demand, when several blocks are closed to the maximum block size, it indicates that the transaction demand is high and all can scale up. Similarly, when the blocks are almost empty, all can scale down. Third, the mining power load balancing mechanism allocates the mining power of the whole network to each path of the blockchain. In Bitcoin, there is only one path, the longest chain. In all can, blocks are linked as a DRG structure with multiple paths. Each block contains the hash of all blocks in the previous epoch. But the pa parent of a new block is determined by the last few bits of its hash values. For example, in this picture, B0 is the parent of B00 and B10 because the last bit of their block hash value is 0. And uh, B one is the parent of B01 and B11 because the last bit of their block hash value is 1. As the miner cannot know which block is the parent of the new block until the miner has solved the proof of work puzzle and calculated the hash of the new block. New blocks are randomly appended to the blockchain. So, miners cannot predetermine which path to follow. Therefore, the mining power is 
randomly distributed among all the concurrent passes, and no miner is able to concentrate its mining power on a single path. In addition, in Alcan, all miners always follow the deepest path through. And in order to ensure the liveness of the blockchain, Alcan dynamically adjust the mining difficulty. When there are 2k blocks in the previous epoch, the mining difficulty is 2kp when the blockchain expands. In this way, Alcan can guarantee that the probability of a block being appended to the specific block is always p. Finally, we test all cam on Amazon EC2 platform. Performance is obtained by 1,000 simulated nodes. And each node is collected to 8 randomly selected peer loads. We can get that as the number of parallel blocks increases. All cam is throughput increases exponentially. The larger the bandwidth, the shorter the confirmation latency. That's all. Thank you.